Hi everyone, Stuart here again from that golfing vlog. Thank you very much for joining me on this journey of mine where hopefully I try and become a much better golfer. Here we are at the famous Hay Hall uh, Woodland Park 18 hole golf course. There is the famous Hay Hall in the background there. I'm gonna just talk a little bit about my sort of challenges within the game of golf and see if we can get a little bit better. If you do like what we do, please do uh, hit that like button, you know, subscribe and uh, also tap that bell button as well so you don't miss anything that's coming up in the future. And certainly if you wanna follow this story of mine, yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Thank you. I guess the obvious thing to do as well as talk to you about the challenges and where I'm at and, and sort of what I'm facing and where I'm going is actually to show you a few of my shots. Please don't be too critical, but please do comment below. Obviously I need all the help I can get at the moment. But ultimately, I just want to get better. I want to know what I'm doing wrong. You know, I want to know what you guys think I'm doing wrong what I'm doing right as well, that'd be useful. And yeah, I'll uh, I'll hit the shot and um, see what you think. Okay, that's something you don't see very often, that's actually got away. Don't know how far that's gone. I'm gonna have a walk down, see where it is. I'll see you there. So just to put a little bit of uh, sort of meat on the bones, really, why why I'm doing this uh, series, which inevitably is what it'll turn into. Um, so I love the game of golf. Absolutely adore the game of golf. However, I am pants. So the mission is clearly to get better. Now, I currently play off 32 as a handicap, which I'm sure, watching you'll agree, is quite poor. Um, what's worse is that, at the moment, I'm struggling to play to that handicap and keep going up point one. As I've only been playing now for three months, I guess I can't be too hard on myself. But I just want to share with you some of my challenges that I foresee that I have at the moment. So, first one is I used to play cricket to a fairly decent standard. And I'm really struggling with the transition from uh, cricket to golf. Second thing is my favourite shot at the moment seems to be what I term the gardening stroke. Where I take a lot more turf before the ball and the ball goes nowhere. The third thing is I have a bit of an underpowered swing at the moment. Um, so the clubs aren't going uh, as far as they should, let's say. And the last thing is time. I haven't got an awful lot of time, and I don't think I can create more time. That was a bit of a shame, really. I probably should have carried on and shown you that pot like I wanted to. Guys that have uh, just gone past me now. Um, just members of the club, I know them, so um, I should just carry on. But never mind. Um, Right, so here we've got a par 3 teeing off, off the yellows today. 146 yards into the pin. Now, should be an 8 iron, should be an 8 iron. Um, with my underpowered swing, uh, I'm going to take a 6 iron and see what happens. Again, I'm going to show you this, show you guys this swing. See what you think, comment. Um, know what you think is good, bad, indifferent, hopefully I can get some help from you and, uh, and get a little bit better. Six iron in hand, just while I'm uh, waiting for those guys to move on. So from the challenges that I said that I had before, obviously I need some solutions to those challenges. Comment below please. I think in terms of the time, the last challenge that I've got that I was talking about, Probably not an awful lot I can do about that. We've got to work, we've got to do our sort of daily daily jobs, if you like. So yeah, I think me creating more time is almost impossible. And certainly if you guys can suggest anything, 
that will mitigate that problem, um, please let me know. Uh, right, I'll hit the shop and I'll talk to you some more. So that one has landed just shy of that bunker. Certainly not gone in it anyway. So for me, that wasn't that wasn't a bad a bad shot actually. Yeah, I suppose I'm quite happy with that. So I'm gonna go down there, see where it is. I'll see you there. I've hit it off the tee and I have landed it just there. I do with my handicap get an extra shot on this hole, so it's actually a par four for me. Nice to actually play it to par three though, of course. Uh, it's all about becoming better at golf, right? So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, well, I'll say I'll chip this onto the green. I'll try and chip this onto the green and um, we'll see where we end up and get this put away. Let's see if we can get it on the green. Even. Let's see if we can get it close to Okay, so as you can see, I have landed it pretty much on the pin, um, and then it's gone over the back of the green. Um, so probably another two shots there, uh, which would mean it'd be that par four for me, but um, let's go and have a look. Okay everyone, so I don't know if you can see, but it's just, where's the ball? They're just on the back. Do you know what, there's probably six feet of thicker than fringe type stuff. So I am going to try and chip it, I know I've got like four foot of the green to play with, which is quite long. Um, but I am going to try and chip this back over, uh, back onto the green and hopefully get it closer to the bit And I'll talk to you a bit more about these challenges and maybe some of the solutions and uh, we'll take it from there, but uh, I'll go and play this one, I'll let turn out too bad that um, nearly went in. I'm going to hold this, we'll see, um, and then we'll talk a bit more about the challenges. So really not great, I ended up costing myself another shot with a poor putt story of my life at the moment. We'll see about how maybe I'm going to rectify some of the challenges and see if, again, you guys can help me comment below. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? What am I doing in the middle? Uh, please help. Okay, so this hole is a par five. I'm going to hit driver. Again, please do tell me what you think I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Much better, straight down the middle. Well, a little bit of a slice, but uh, it's in the middle. So we'll go and find that one. And then we'll talk some more. I've got this for 254 yards left. Down where you can see there, and then dog legs off to the right a little bit, and then downhill for the green, just at the bottom of the hill. The uh, Seve shot from here would be smash it with a fade, round the dog leg, land it on the green. It's never going to happen in a million years for me. I'm going to hit a seven iron. I'll hit this one and uh, yeah, let me know what you think.
That didn't look too bad. I think it's landed where I wanted it to on that corner. Should have opened up the green for me there. Let's go and have a look at it and uh, see what my next shot is. This one looks like I've got myself into a little bit of trouble. Just see the ball just there. A little bit of trouble. Trees in front of me. Sorry, it's very windy as well, so uh, hopefully the audio is not too bad. Can I go for the green? The answer is no. Don't know if you can see the pin actually. It's just inside these trees down below there. And the best thing to do is probably play this back onto the fairway, which I may do just over. Sorry, just over this side, just over this mound here on this bunker. At least I get a clean full shot in for the next one. So we're back out onto the fairway in play. That's my third shot on this par five. Let's see if I can land anywhere near the green. Uh, let's go down, take this next shot. And we are 87 yards now in. Let's see what happens. Short of the green. Just off the green. It was a poor shot, really. Uh, again, one of the things that's costing me the shots. I probably struck it okay, but just didn't really get the judgment of it right. I've absolutely leathered that over the back of the green. <laughs> ah, I tell you, this game. Chipping a putt from there. So that one didn't work out too badly. Uh, there's just some gents coming down now, so I'll uh, put this away and get off this green. Ah, two pot. Shouldn't have been. What I think I'm going to do for um, solutions to these problems First thing to do, there's nothing I can do about muscle memory. I kind of just have to start learning golf from scratch. And I hope that um, the muscle memory you know, starts becoming golf and not cricket anymore. Um, not an awful lot I can do about that other than keep practicing golf. In terms of the bad shot, the sort of strong that I was talking about before. I think the only way I can get this with that is practice, 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 practice maybe. Um, so that's the thought, something that I can do there, which couples with the time uh, aspect as well, the time challenge. That's going to be actually to set up a driving range, driving net, if you like, at the back of my house in the garden. Um, so I'm definitely going to do that, that's something that I've thought about whilst we've been walking around and uh, definitely going to uh, have a go at that and hopefully that will get me striking the ball a bit better. And obviously, you know, I'm open to suggestions from you guys, please do comment below what do you think I can do to mitigate some of those challenges to be able to push forward and become better. Um, much appreciate your comments, much appreciate your comments. Please.
please do like, share and subscribe to our channel uh, and also hit that bell button as well. There's going to be more episodes of this and I'm asking you guys so please do comment below, let me know what you think has gone well on what you've seen today and what's gone not so well and what I can do better um, and what I should keep doing as well please. So, um, probably just about wraps it up for me today. Again, there's going to be more in this series. Um, going to be, well, I guess the next the next stage for me is to build my drive bridge in the backyard. So, um, join me then. Um, hopefully, we'll find that a bit of fun. And hopefully that'll get me striking the ball and also get me hitting a lot more balls than, uh, than I currently am um, in order to get better at the game. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Um, you've been watching Stuart on that golfing vlog. Please do watch again. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.